In this problem, we're told that the sitting back to knee length for a group of adults has a normal distribution with a mean of 23.4 inches and a standard deviation of 1.2 inches. And we want to find um, the separation between values that are significant and values that are not significant. So we want to know um, what range of values are significantly high, what range is significantly low, and we're using the criteria of being less, the probability of those values being less than 1% rather than 5%. So we can set that criteria to whatever percentage um, is appropriate for that situation. So I've got my normal distribution here and I know that the middle is the mean, so that's 23.4. And what I want to find is what is the cutoff for the bottom 1%. So I want to find this value. And I want to find this value that's the top 1%. So the area here is 1%. The area here is 1%. And so when I know the area and I want to find the value, I use the inverse norm function in the calculator. So first I give the area, and if you have the stat wizard, that 0.01 is your area. The mean is 23.4. and standard deviation is 1.2. So when I put this into the calculator, and we're going to round to one decimal place, so this would be 20.6. So I can mark that here. And then to find our second value, our second cutoff for the significantly high values, I have to do pretty much the same thing. I'm going to do inverse norm. But now I need to put the percentage that is to the left. So um, I did that for the first one. There was 1% to the left, but now I need to figure out, well, what percentage is to the left if 1% is to the right, and that would be 99%. And then I put in the mean and the standard deviation. Now, some calculators will let you um, say left, right, or center, and so you could have done 1% on the right. Um, so if you have that feature, that's fine to do. But if not, most calculators still... Um, don't have that feature, and so you would do 99% on the left, um, which is the same as having 1% on the right. So this turns out to be 26.2, and here we go. So this is 26.2, and then it says... Using this criteria is a back to knee length of 25.5 inches significantly high. So 25.5 is going to be what? Roughly here. I'm guessing. All I need to know is that it's between 20.6 and 26.2. So this would be not significant. And that is how you do that problem.